This coding prompt for ChatGPT took ages to make perfect, but now I can get the AI to code literally anything I want. In this video, I'll show you the prompt that turns ChatGPT into an expert developer and some add-on prompts that remove its coding limitations altogether. ChatGPT doesn't always make the best programs, but by using the AI developer prompt, we can get better control of the AI and get it to improve its code. Talking of improving code, if you're on this video, there's a good chance you're looking to level up your own coding. Well, let me introduce Brilliant.org, this video sponsor. With a ton of computer science and programming courses, Brilliant.org is the best way to learn how to code. The lessons are great and they're completely interactive, meaning you're able to see in real time the impact of the code you write, all while learning to solve real world problems, from making maps to autoresponders. It doesn't matter if you're just getting started, looking to learn a new language, or simply want an entertaining way to test your existing skills. There are lessons and courses for all levels, giving you a complete end-to-end -end journey to follow. You can begin with a thinking and code course, and when you're ready for the skills needed for a career in AI, head over to the course named The Cutting Edge. Build quantum algorithms and uncover the inner workings of neural networks with hands-on experimentation. With the added bonus of being able to control how long each lesson will be and tailor them to you, it really can be a nice daily activity to add to your routine. I believe that if you learn to code while also learning to harness AI, you can really fast track the whole process. And having a tool like Brilliant.org at your disposal is only going to speed that process up even more. To try out what Brilliant has to offer, sign up with 30 days completely free by visiting brilliant.org forward slash AI chat or click on the link in the description below. The first 200 to sign up using my link will also get 20% off Brilliant's annual subscription. Now let's make ChatGPT the best developer possible. In its current state, ChatGPT is known to struggle. It writes incomplete code that makes calls to libraries and functions that don't exist and it oversimplifies whole features. The code it produces either doesn't work because it's missing too much, or is only a basic outline of how the app could work. If we want to spin up clean code and working applications first time, we're going to have to get the AI to understand a few things. What its role is going to be, what we deem as high quality code, how we want the AI to write, and for it to understand that it can code anything. To achieve this, we put ChatGPT into the AI developer mode. Not only does it restrict the AI to focus on writing high quality code complete with all features and styling, but it also gives the user clear headings to fill out and make sure they're giving a detailed brief. I've also written additional prompts that you can use for a bunch of reasons. There's the pre-code questions that work out what you want the AI to make, a repeatable prompt that you can use to adapt code, and a jailbreak to allow the AI to write all types of code. At the end, I'll show it in action, spinning up a working app that was chosen by a poll on my Discord, a prompt maker. I started out this prompt with an idea in mind of how I wanted it to work. It will put the AI into a set mode and then define this character as an expert code writer and outline exactly what defines high quality code. I just needed to spend some time looking into what keywords and definitions I could apply to the AI to achieve this. I wanted basic keyword answers to questions like what exactly makes good code? What makes a good programmer? What does a complete project outline include? And what does the AI actually need to know? With a mix of Google and ChatGPT, I was able to gather up a list of character traits and keywords. I also had a solid outline for what the user will need to contribute. The AI made it clear that not only does it need to know what the task being set is, but importantly it needs to know the context too. The default AI is simply a language model trying to help a developer, and sometimes that can lead to it writing little to no code. So I wanted the AI developer to understand, regardless of what it's being asked to make, that it has to develop complete working code that's clean and readable. It shouldn't have simplified extracts or comments explaining what the code could look like. Whether it's inputs and outputs or the whole design style, it has to deliver on all requests. I continue to work with the list, removing duplicates and outlining those that I believe were the most important. By the end, I was able to group the remaining terms under headings and start to make an outline for the prompt. With a solid understanding of who I wanted the AI to be, how I wanted their code to be written, and all the context that AI would be looking for, it was now a case of getting that across cleanly. I got the initial version of my prompt rounded off and filled out details explaining the app I wanted. The first code it produced was actually not bad, but definitely needed some work. It wasn't formatting the output how I hoped, it wasn't using comments to explain the code, and the app wasn't quite what I was after. A 
I continued adapting the prompt and changing how I wanted the app to work, including some additional functionality to push the AI further. After a few iterations and adding a load to the prompt, the AI was now outputting code that I was happy with. A lot of this time was spent checking the consistency. It was good getting the occasional great result, but I wanted ChatGPT to always output good code and needed to make sure this was happening. But the prompt was now messy and it had duplication. So I worked backwards, combining the rules and reducing down what I could, all while hoping nothing broke. By the end, I had this, a prompt that gets the AI into a pro developer mindset, getting it to work under clear rules and with clear context. But there were still some questions to answer. What if the user doesn't quite know what they want? What if they want to fix code they already have? Or what if the AI is refusing to make it all together? Well, I made prompts for that too. For the users who don't know what they want to make, a prompt that runs a Q&A until the AI can outline the app and all its features. For those who need to work on existing samples, a repeatable prompt that allows the user to give code instead. And finally, a prompt that stops the AI refusing to write code. With our AI developer prompt complete, it was time to test it out and get the code to our web app. All along, we've been testing by getting the AI to make our prompt maker. And while now was no different, this run had to have it all. We want the output to be titled, to be given a version number, and the AI to describe the app. Important details because having this clearly laid out before the code is written can let us know if the AI has even understood what we want. We also want the code to be in a single file, well formatted and using comments to describe elements. The code couldn't include any shortcuts or highlighted sections where a potential feature could go. All functionality had to be included. We also don't want the AI making calls and references to packages and libraries that don't exist. I checked it all, making sure even the follow up instructions were good. It was looking great and running the app showed it was working. We have a prompt maker that takes a few details from the user and outputs a message ready for ChatGPT. It is worth noting that the AI developer doesn't need a ton of detail from you. If you want, you can give it a single sentence describing your app and just accept that the AI might miss the mark a little. But then again, that's where I'd suggest using the first of the additional prompts. If you don't want to work out all the fine details, you can simply use the pre-code questions and get the AI to work it out for you. If you've got some code that you want to expand on, I've included a reusable prompt that you can paste your code into. And if ChatGPT isn't making what you want, there's a short prompt addition that will allow you to code anything. If you're looking to use the AI developer, I'll leave the main prompt in the description below, along with a link to the Google document containing all the prompts shown. If you find it useful, be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments below what ChatGPT is coding for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one soon.